What's up, y'all? So I'm gonna be going over how I created this image right here. Actually, let's pop it up way bigger, right here. It's not gonna be a complete video tutorial, but it's gonna be an in-depth breakdown of how I did each step, a couple of my settings for everything, but I'm just going over the general steps that I took to come up with the final image. So hopefully it helps and let's get started. So I guess you can think of this as in three steps. So step one is putting all your images where you want them in the photo first. Step two is blending the lighting so that they all match with each other. And then step three is actually color grading and making everything blend together even more. All right, let's get started. This is gonna look crazy, but it's really not. Let's turn off this final photo. All right, boom. So the four images that I used were this image right here of this cornfield. Then we had our sky, then had the moon, and then this picture of this girl. All right, starting with our background image, we have this. What I did was I took a pen tool and pretty much just zigzagged all along this horizon line right here. So taking our pen tool, zigzagging it, you should get this. What I did was I wanted to create some depth with the blur. I knew I would want that later. So turn this image into a smart filter and then added some blur in the foreground and a little bit in the background as well. Then we took our sky and placed it behind that corn image. The sky is flipped upside down from the original image. I feel like I like that effect way more. So that is our whole background. Then I went ahead and changed the color of the grass a little bit. So I made that a little more desaturated, as you can see here, and change the hue to red and yellow. Darken the grass a little bit with a curves layer. This is what the curves looks like. And then some general darking for both the sky and the cornfield. Then we just plopped our moon into the background right there. The moon is set to screen. So to get rid of shadowy parts that won't make it match, set that to screen. Then added some Gaussian blur to make it match with the background a little more because the sky seems like it's a little out of focus. Next, place in our girl. This was the original image. So we duplicate this image in case we mess up and we wanna go back to it. So this is duplicated. And then I placed her where I wanted her and then picked like three or four leaves that I felt like she should have been behind and took a pen tool and further masked out the bottom part of her body and got rid of that. That is it for placing all of our components into the photo. So we have four components. We have that first cornfield, sky, place the moon, and now the girl where we wanted her. So what I did was a little bit of adjustments here on the girl, but we're gonna go ahead and further merge her in with everything later as well. So all of my images are placed where I wanted them to. So what we have up here is a black and white help layer. I like having this so then you can see the differences in between lighting between all of your components. So clearly she is super bright compared to everything else in the image. So we're gonna have to fix that. This is just saturation all the way down. Having that on, use a curves layer, brought down the highlights on her. If you just hold Alt left click, you can snap it to the layer below it. Next, we have a levels adjustment. Turn that on, so darken the midtones. Next, we have a hue saturation. Let me turn off this black and white layer. Hue saturation, bring down saturation just a little bit on her skin. And honestly, you can barely notice some more darkening on her right there. This is what the curves looks like. I just took the middle, brought it down. A little bit of darkening. Okay, and then that'll be it. The next part is doing all of our color grading and further color matching with the background. This looks crazy, but it's not. After this, it's done. So what I did was take a hue saturation, went to the greens, brought down the saturation, moved it to the yellow and red even more, kind of like that first adjustment layer on the, on the corn. That turns it into that. Then I added a color lookup table. It's edgy amber, but brought down the opacity way down to like 13% because if you don't, it looks like that. So it's just like a slight tint. So this is where most of the adjustments came from, which is merging everything that we have so far into a new layer, and then turning it into a smart filter and adding a camera raw filter. It's gonna look crazy, but I'm gonna go through it. Boom. So it looks like we almost have our whole image done after this. Let's go into the camera raw filter to see what I did. Scrolling up. So I didn't mess with any of these right here. 
What I did mess with is the curves brought the black level up a little bit, added a small S curve to add some contrast to it. But most of it actually came from this, the HSL slider. This is our saturation. So bringing down the saturation on a lot of the colors to make it faded. So bringing down the yellows, a little bit of the orange, bringing up the reds. Here's the hue. I changed the yellow all the way to red. Then of course, changing the blues and purples to this teal color, and then a slight vignette to the whole photo. Okay, once we have our camera raw filter, I went ahead and took a curves layer, brought that down, blacks up a little bit to darken the cornfield even more. So I wanted to give the girl a more creepy vibe. So I took the stamp tool and stamped over where her eyes are showing to give it a little bit more mystery. Merged everything to a new layer again, and then added a blur to that layer. So if I disable this mask right here, this whole image is blurred. I added a black mask to everything so I can paint in the areas that I actually want that blurry. So we painted in, if you see this, painted in like this left side right here, and then just random edges around the cornfield to bring your attention more to the girl. This adds some shadows around the girl to blend her in with the cornfield a little more. My logic was she would cast a shadow from that top left corner onto the corn a little bit. So that's where that comes in. Brightening just small parts of her, just a tad, and then bringing up the black levels on her dress so that's not pitch black. This is what the curves looks like. And then just on the part where we brought up the black levels, I brought down the saturation a little bit to take out any color that's in the shadows. Then, gradient map. So this gradient map is sampled from the sky up here. So I just took the color red right here and then the purple from the sky right here to give a color cast over the rest of the image. So turning that on, you see how it changes the color of the corn and the girl, adding like a, a color cast over her skin. So not adding into the sky, so this is just masked to the bottom part of the image. This is where I kind of cheated a little bit. Just added a new empty layer. And what I did was take a stamp tool and then just stamped around the edges of her skin to blend her in more, because I felt like the harsh black shadows didn't match with what was going on with the rest of the image. So turning that on, see how, yeah. It makes her arms skinnier, but I feel like it matches way more. And then some general brightening to the image. And then one last step is adding some grain to the image with this gray layer to further blend everything in. So dope. And then that's how I got this final image right here. So just to recap real fast, putting everything, all your components into the picture, the corn, the sky, the moon, and the girl, having those all set in your image, then going through changing the lighting on anything that doesn't match. I would recommend changing the lighting on everything to match your sky because that is your light source. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully this helped. If it did, please leave a like and subscribe for more videos on photography and videography. I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh.